Hey gang, Fletcher here again with DJ Event Planner. In this video, we're gonna cover images and how to add them into your DJ Event Planner account. I will walk you through on adding your logo to your website tools, adding images to document and email templates, packages, add-ons, and client employee profile pictures. We're gonna start with adding your logo to your website tools, but before we get into that, let's cover a few best practices when it comes to images in general. Now, if you feel you know everything about images already, please feel free to skip ahead. However, I highly encourage you not to skip ahead and take a look at some of these basics. It's always great to get a refresher. First and foremost, this one is basic. If you do not have an image logo, get one. Not only is it extremely important for branding purposes, it is also important when it comes to SEO. If you only have a text logo on your website and do not have a graphic for your logo, I encourage you, at minimum, turn your text logo into an image. You can do so by utilizing built-in tools on either your computer or mobile device by taking a screenshot and saving as an image file and uploading to your website. Let's also briefly touch on image optimization. What does image optimization mean and why does it matter to you? Well, there is a lot that can be done to optimize images, and I will briefly cover three important ones here for you. Image names, titles, image size, and using alternative text. For more information beyond those three and to further optimize your images, do a brief web search on image optimization for the web. So why image optimization, you ask? Primarily, it is used for SEO purposes, but also provides for a better user experience. So let's start with image names and titles. When you upload your images to your website or anywhere, make sure to give it a proper name or title. Search engines do not only look at the text on your website, they also look at your images. And if your images have non-relevant names, they will not provide any benefit. I see many users who have logos and images that have no definable name at all. And that can hurt your chances when it comes to clients finding you online. For example, for your logo, you could title it Company Name Logo. Other images could include your company name as well in a few descriptive words in the title. Please note, however, each image name should be unique. Next, let's look at image size. Well, size matters. Let's say you want to add an image of a recent event to your website's homepage. You upload the original file to your website and you use your website builder or CSS to resize it to fit on your page. Now, even though the image visibly looks smaller, it only does so because of some code. It is still actually loading the full size image. What this equates to is the more data that your page has to load, the longer it will take to load. And the same is true inside of DJ Event Planner as well. Now the internet has gotten a lot faster these days. However, speed still matters. Speed is everything. And you do not want potential clients leaving your site or not reading your emails because they're taking too long to load. The easy fix prior to uploading is to resize your image to the size you need. There are additional, more advanced ways to reduce image sizes and you can find those when you do a web search for image optimization. However, you can simply use your built-in tools, whether it's your computer or your mobile phone to edit that image and reduce it to its final size. Next, let's take a look at alternative text. Alternative text is a brief description of the image and is extremely important and should not be overlooked. Should you have an image that fails to load on a website or in an email, the alternative text will then be visible. Many email programs by default, by the way, do not load images. And having alternative text on your image will show that brief description if that image fails to load. The viewer would then know a little more about what would have been in that image. Alternative text as well is also beneficial for SEO. Lastly, let's take a quick look at where to host images as well as getting the URL to your image. One of the common questions we get is where do I host my images? The best, most absolute answer is your website if you have one. If you don't have a website, I highly encourage you to get one. Your website is one of the best places to store images for use not only in your actual website, but for other locations as well, such as in your DJEP account. One reason being SEO again. Images with the correct titles and alternative text can aid in potential clients finding you in search engines. 
Secondly, most website hosting provides for online storage. That means you're already paying for storage, so why not use it? Another reason you'd want to use your website for hosting images over a storage site, such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or whatever, is that those sites may change their database structure, which will end up changing the actual file location of your image. And if that happens, then any images you have embedded online will no longer appear because the link will be broken. And that could be a pain to go through and update all of those links. How to get the URL for your image. If your image is posted on your website live on a page, navigate to your website, right click on the image and select either copy image URL, copy image address, copy image link or similar. The wording will vary by browser. If the image is stored on your site but not live on a page, you will need to navigate to the file either through your website's builder's media gallery or to the database file itself and copy the link. Most website builder media galleries will provide the direct link to the image when viewing it in the gallery. If you are hosting images elsewhere, Dropbox, Google Drive, or other image hosting site, you need to first make sure that that file is visible to the public and that you are copying the actual image URL and not the URL to the image page. Since each of those services have different processes, I would suggest connecting with that service's support to find the steps to get the direct URL to the image. Now let's get into how to add your logo to your website tools. To add your logo to your website tools, first log into DJ Event Planner, click on Website Tools, Styling Options, and under the Logo tab, we will need to paste the URL to our logo. If it is not the right size, either too large or too small, you can click on the Resize button. Here you can manually enter the height and width, which I would only suggest doing if your logo is a square and the same height and width. If it is not a square, you can click on these three lines in the bottom right and drag the image to size, which will keep the correct height and width ratio, keeping your image in proportion. As always, once finished, click on Save Settings. Now let's look at how to add an image to document and email templates. The process is the same for both documents and emails, so we'll walk through adding an image to a document template. While editing your template, if an image already exists that you want to replace, you can double click the image to open the image dialog box. If you are adding a new image, insert your cursor in the template where you want your image to appear. Here in the top bar of the WYSIWYG editor, click on the image icon to open the image dialog box. Paste the URL to your image here in the URL box. In the alternative text box, enter a brief description of the image as mentioned earlier. In the settings below, you can resize your image. When doing so, make sure that this lock icon is locked to keep the width and height at the same ratio. If not, your image could end up distorted. The border is if you'd like a black border to appear around the image. This number here you enter is in pixels. H space and V space are horizontal and vertical space settings. Entering a numerical value here will add space above and below or to the left and right of the image. This number is also in pixels. Alignment should be straightforward. Do you want your image to be on the left or on the right? And lastly, if you'd like the image to link to a web page, when clicked, click on the link tab and enter the URL to that web page. Here you can change what will happen when they click that link by selecting a target attribute. Most often the best choice here is blank. This means that when the user clicks on the link or the image, it'll open the link in a new tab. Once your settings are complete, click on OK. And as always, make sure to save the template. Next up, packages and add-ons. Packages and add-ons are the same process, so we're going to focus on packages. So navigate to your packages by going to Setup, Packages, and then click on view next to the package you want to add an image to, then click on edit. Next, we will click here on photo gallery, then on use custom images. You can add multiple images to packages and add-ons. Just paste the URL in the URL box. You can also add a title and description here if you'd like as well. Be sure to click save once finished. Adding a profile image for clients and employees. For clients, navigate to an event or to a client record. 
If there is no image yet, you can click the placeholder image here and you will see a pop-up. Click on the green Set button, which will take you to that client's record in edit mode. Paste the URL in the Profile Image URL text box and click Save. Now, if you don't see the field for Profile Image URL, you will need to enable it. To do so, click on Setup, Application, Event Form, and then Layout. Check the box next to Profile Image URL and click Save Settings. That field will now be visible when you add or edit an event or client record. For employees, it is the same process as adding a profile image as it is for a client. Navigate to an employee, then quick edit, and then paste the URL into the profile image URL text box. Thanks for taking the time to watch this tutorial. Hopefully all of your image questions have been answered. Should you have additional questions about images or other items, click on support options in the left menu where you will find access to our live chat and support forum. Thanks for watching, gang. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to give us a like and a share, and we'll see you on the next video.